How's this for bonus content? I'm here because I have just been using the caffeinated shampoo, which for obvious reasons we can't review at the time of the actual review unless you wanted to watch us dryly lather up and just see uh, how well caffeinated shampoo works when you're not shampooing. Kind of multitasking my post-shower things. I've been regularly using it. It's, it's not bad. It, from what I've noticed, when you use the caffeine that goes in through your scalp or your skin, it gets absorbed into you and it has been giving me a very plateaued yet elevated amount of energy. Not like drinks and stuff which can give you the caffeine boost right away and then eventually you suffer from the crash. One thing I have noticed on the other hand is you'll go from feeling awake and fantastic to accidentally blinking for half a minute because you didn't realize any time had passed. So it'll speed you up, it'll elevate you, it just won't necessarily maintain it. I found myself using the caffeinated shampoo along with energy drinks because the energy drinks will make up for the difference so you just won't out of nowhere. You don't have that in between, I'm starting to get tired, maybe I'm a little tired feeling. You do have the I'm awake, I'm going, but not in an elevated, I mean, you're, you're elevated. You're just not like, oh my god, I'm a hummingbird. You're just going, but with a little bit more pep than before. I stayed home from work today because, well, I Got a cold and not feeling great. And I've been having trouble, like, getting my thoughts together. But here's the problem with trying to review a caffeinated shampoo along while you're taking a shower. Showers wake you up anyway. But I do notice a difference. Placebo, maybe. Well, who cares? As long as I can have my energy. Maybe Eric disagrees. We'll see what he has to say about it.